The M7 sawmill is easy to transport as it only weighs 52 kilograms. You won't even need a trailer. The sawmill can easily be placed on the roof rack of a car with the help of a few planks. Matthias Bustrom, who developed the M7 model, demonstrates how easily one man can handle the sawmill. The transport planks can later be used as supports for the sawmill. There are several saw alternatives for the Logosel M7 sawmill. A chainsaw used on the sawmill must be really strong, which is why Logosol recommends the Steel 066 as the most suitable. Its motor is rated at just below 7 horsepower, and it weighs only some kilograms more than a regular pro saw. It can also be used to fell and limb trees to advantage. Sharp tools are essential when splitting logs on a sawmill. The best way to file the chain is to fasten it like this. A good file gauge makes the job easier. It only takes a few minutes to set up the sawmill. First replace the guide bar nuts with so-called solo nuts. Next, attach the chainsaw to the saw carriage. You should never stand in front of the guide bar while the saw is running. A shield is fitted over the guide bar tip for extra safety. In order to make sure that the Logosol sawmill stands securely without any risk of tipping, the long and short legs should be bolted down. This is where the planks used during transport come in handy so long as they extend at least 50 centimetres outside the long legs. The log grip helps hold the log in place during sawing. It's also used to fasten one end of the feed line. There's a guard on the log grip that prevents injury when the guide bar leaves the end of the log. The saw carriage slides smoothly on the plastic sliding blocks. The low friction blocks have long working lives and are easy to replace. Once the feed line has been fitted to the log grip, the Logosol sawmill is ready to go. Even though it's possible to position the sawmill near the logs to be sawn, there will always be some need to move them. Since the logs must be raised a half a metre from the ground, it's best to use some type of loading frame. Smaller logs can be used to advantage. There are many tricks and aids for handling the logs. Several methods for handling logs are shown later in the film. It's not even an hour since the sawmill was taken down from the car roof. The pine has been felled, trimmed and sized. The first cut is completed. There's something very special about sawing your own planks out in the woods. It's hard to imagine a better work environment than a forest meadow on a lovely spring day or in the cold, clear autumn air. One tree will yield a lot of timber. Since many see sawing with the Logosol sawmill as pure pleasure, it's probably not very interesting to discuss how much can be cut per hour or per day or... But if you're satisfied with cutting of a few trees per day, you'll neither need to hurry nor to work all day. The Logosol sawmill yields accurate measures. The guide bar travels straight through the log and the variance is seldom more than a few millimetres. The special splitting chain leaves a kerf of around 6mm, 
are only one more than a modern circular saw. The surface is good, even somewhat smoother than with other methods. The Swedish National Testing Institute has checked the sawmill capacity, calculating that a petrol fuel chainsaw can deliver 2.3 cubic meters of sawn products in a day. Using Logosol's electric saw raises the yield to 2.6 cubic meters. These numbers match Logosol's own, as well as hundreds of reports from customers with practical experience of using the Logosol sawmill. When Logosol participated in the American Championships in small-scale sawing in May 2000, the numbers were naturally quite different. Our US representative, Roy Bjorklund, sawed one-inch boards at a speed corresponding to 3.5 cubic meters per day. People in the United States have been impressed by the capabilities of the Logosol sawmill too. Owners of the M5 Swedish mill have been able to accomplish a lot with their sawmills. We recently visited one such owner in Philadelphia, Mississippi. Mark Harrison was one of the first USA owners of the Logosol portable sawmill. He discovered the capabilities of this unique sawmill and used it to cut framing lumber for his impressive 4,500 square foot home. You know, I didn't start off planning on cutting all the lumber from my house until after I got to using it. And I cut uh, a, a good deal of lumber for the, for the porch originally and then uh, I got to thinking, well, I can go ahead and cut the rest of it. So uh, I sat down with my plan and went over everything and found out and made me a list of what all the lumber I needed to do the framing and I cut all the framing. Oh, I got better quality lumber out of this than I did if I went to the store and bought it. The quality of lumber that I've got is way superior than what you go buy. And you can tell the difference when you go to put a nail in this and put a nail in that kill drive. That lumber right there is a lot stronger than bought lumber I can take. Russia is our largest export market together with the USA. In the Euro region alone, Logosol has delivered hundreds of sawmills, planes, cutters and other equipment. Russia's state railways buy 10 million sleepers each year, which is good business for suppliers who can keep down their costs by using cheap and reliable technology. One of these suppliers, Lesevis, has 14 Logosol sawmills, the first of which they bought in 1997. Half of them are used out in the forests and the others are run around the clock in a former sawmill. The Logosol sawmill is generous when it comes to log size. When the logs get larger, you just reach for a longer guide bar. No special arrangements are needed for logs as large as 60 centimeters in diameter, weighing up to 500 kilograms. With a reinforced log support and really long guide bar, even larger and heavier logs can be sawn. Nor is the length a problem as the Logosol sawmill is easy to extend. In 1998, in the US, Logosol sawed the world's longest 2x4, all of 35.5 meters long. The Logosol sawmill has also become a favorite with hobby carpenters. For them, it's often a question of extracting extremely valuable pieces from short logs. Top-class pieces from such sources as fruit trees simply cannot be found in the lumber yards. Even domestic trees like wild cherry and mountain ash come only in short pieces. The Logosol sawmill lets you save much that would otherwise be firewood. Sawing logs no one else wants to saw is a very common task for the Logosol sawmill. Commercial sawmills will not accept trees from your own lot at the edge of the woods facing fields near target ranges and similar places. And they're even less interested in re-sawing old floors or beams. When using the Logosol sawmill, the result of sawing in nails is never worse than a ruined chain. And after filing, 
Such a chain works perfectly well again. One reason for the high production capacity of the relatively simple Logosol sawmill is that the work is done in a good work position. The logs are usually loaded onto the cross members and rolled into the log supports at a comfortable working height. Then they are cranked up to the right level. Once the plank is sawn, it's removed at the same comfortable height. Placing the logs on the ground should be avoided. In a special section, we'll show how to make a loading frame. The low weight is another reason the saw is so comfortable to use. It's easy to move and transport. The extruded aluminium frame is amazingly durable in relation to its weight. We've almost never heard of damage to the Logosol sawmill from overloading. The damage we've run across has almost always been caused by tractors running into the sawmill, usually in connection with snow ploughing during the winter. Since the aluminium profile construction is assembled using nuts and bolts, replacing damaged parts is easy. The Logosol sawmill is a superb example of suitable material use. The usual dictum is to use a minimum amount of right material seen both environmentally and financially. By these measurements, the strength of the aluminium in relation to its weight makes this an optimal construction. And since it's fully anodized, the sawmill will last forever, be maintenance-free and rust-proof. The Logosol sawmill can use many different saw and milling units. For a starter, it's possible to use nearly all brands of chainsaws, provided the motor is sufficiently strong. Right now, Logosol recommends using saws larger than 70 cubic centimetres, such as the Steel 066. Most of the Logosol sawmills supplied in Scandinavia are shipped with the Logosol E5000 electric saw unit. Most people with access to three-phase current choose an electric saw because of the absence of emissions and engine noise, as well as low operating cost. In practice, the 5 kilowatt three-phase motor supplies a considerably higher effect than even the strongest petrol-powered chainsaws. The electric saw can also be fitted with electric feed, making the work easier and increasing the capacity. The Logosol sawmill can also be fitted with a band saw, increasing the capacity significantly and allowing the sawmill to approach the capacity of considerably larger mills. By using the special log house moulder, you can also shape elegant logs for building log houses. However, the chainsaw powered log house moulder requires a chainsaw with no less than a 50cc motor. The Logosol sawmill is the perfect machine for everyone wanting to spend some time cutting their own planks. Their capacity is more than enough for household needs. The final quality is fully comparable to what is achieved by much larger and more expensive machines. I've thought a lot about buying a sawmill for the farm. Once there were lots of saws here, including circular and frame ones, but they're all gone. I've looked for a small one, and at the Ockelbu Winter Market, when Logosol demonstrated its sawmill with a timber mill, it seemed all right. I remember thinking that this is something for me. I only saw for myself, you see, at least so far, and I enjoy working with wood. It's a living material, it smells good, and is nice to work with. That's why I bought a Logosol sawmill. And must admit, I'm impressed.
Därför blev den lång så låg. Jag är faktiskt imponerad av den. There is some yield loss because the kerf is somewhat wider than you'd get with a circular saw. On the other hand, small-scale sawing allows you to take extra time with each log. The yield in a modern sawmill lies around 40%. That it's so low is because much of the log becomes chips for paper pulp. A logosol sawmill delivers a yield between 50 and 60%, depending on the size of the planks and the log dimensions.